Hey guys, just purchased the Huntsman 3.2 ton independent suspension kit and it's a really good unit. They're using Iron Man shocks and springs and all the welding and the steelwork fabrication is absolutely first class. The drawing just needs a little bit of explanation so that's what I'm going to try and do today. First thing they ask you to do is to calculate your offset. So what the offset is, is the distance from the side of the chassis here to the front of the rim there. And in this case, you can see it's measuring at 200 millimeters. So the way to get there is to grab your tire and rim and then put a straight edge across the back of it. So this is the front face here and you're putting it across the back face and resting it on the tyre. Then take a measurement from the face resting on the tyre to the flat inside on your hub. And in this case you can see that it's 130 millimetres. So remember that, that's the first thing. The next thing you need to consider is the tire clearance between the inside here and the inside of your chassis there. Now in this case, mine works out to be 70 millimetres, remember? We measured from the face of the tyre here, the inside face, down to the flat on the mag. That was 130. And before, we measured from here, this face, to this face, is 200. So what I did was, measured the inside, got my 170, and then added the clearance I wanted, which was 70 millimetres, and that becomes my offset. And if you measure now from the inside face here to that inside face to there, that'll give you 70 millimetres. Now I've seen them down as low as, as 30 millimetres. The reason I've set mine at 70 is if I get a flat tyre and I'm in the middle of nowhere and I need to put on a wider tyre, I just want a little bit of clearance. It also allows a little bit of space for rock and mud to pass through without sort of grinding on the side of the chassis. The other thing they ask you for is do you want your stub axle on the top or on or inside the arm? In my case, you can see here, the stub axle is welded on the top. Now the reason I've done that is if I do shear off a, a shear off a stub axle, for me it's just easier to get in and grind the welds here and weld another stub axle on, on the top. But it really doesn't matter. It does affect, of course, your overall height. You can see this is higher up. And the other one would be would be down there. So it, it, it gives me a little bit less clearance, but that's what I chose. That what's that's what works for me. So if we just have a look at the swing arm assembly now, have a look on the top. You can see that resembles something like what's in the drawing there. Okay. Now I've, I've mounted the shockers down here. I'm going to weld a plate in here. And I'll probably put a gusset down on the side just to give it a bit of extra strength reason I've done that is just so that I can extend the shock absorber out just a little bit more so I've got a little bit more travel in, in the stroke. The way this is drawn, if you get onto the website, you'll, you'll, it'll, it gives you a distance from the centre of the axle, I think it's to the underside of the chassis, um, when it's fully loaded. So this is drawn in the position when it's fully loaded. So that'll allow me when I come to draw my guards and thing stuff going above that, that'll give me accurate clearances heights.
So we just have a quick look at a drawing. This is basically what it all looks like when it's together. So you can see here I've got um, equal angle, unequal angle rather, steel down the side. Um, that's uh, from memory. Let's have a quick look. I think it was 100 by 50. Yeah, it was 100 by 50 by 6 and running through the middle I'm going to be doing 100 by 50 probably by 5 only because I'm welding on the swing arm assembly here so I want that to be to be fairly rigid and if you keep this unit as an element that means when you're putting a chassis on you can afford to go a little bit lighter there so the aim of the trailer that I'm building is to actually build it as light as possible. So just recapping. First thing you need to do is measure from the inside face of your tyre down to the flat on your mag. Add on the clearance you want between the inside of the chassis to the inside of the tyre. And that'll give you your offset. Hope this has been helpful.